Life during the coronavirus quarantine can sometimes feel like this, but more often than not, it feels like this. Attention, everybody. Okay, I'm clearly losing my mind. Day 40 of the quarantine is getting to me. In this video, I'm going to show you what my life was like before the pandemic and what it's been like after. Oh, hectic. Miracle. You'll get a behind the scenes look at my life while working from home in Miami, Florida, including how I make money online, how I've been spending my time, and the best place to grocery shop during the shutdown. You might be surprised. Oh my God, it's this turtle. Hey, little guy. Oh no. Hi, I'm Kristen, and I've been working online and traveling as a full-time digital nomad for more than 10 years. For the past many years, a typical day in my life has looked a little something like this. However, like most of you watching this right now, I'm quarantined, but I'm making the most of it. I think, who really knows? Anyway, let me know in the comments, where are you or were you quarantined and how's it all going? I'm super curious and would love to hear your stories. I really wish I was more of a morning person and specifically part of the 4 a.m. club, but um, I'm not. I usually wake up between 7 or 8 a.m., which I'm counting as a win because before the quarantine, I was usually too jet lagged to know or care what day or time it was. My morning routine is solid though, folks, even though sometimes it starts in the afternoon. First, I wake up, brush my teeth, and then immediately make my bed and check 10 to 12 ounces of water before thoroughly caffeinating myself. Then it's time to meditate for anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour. I've been meditating consistently for three years now with about a thousand days logged in my meditation app. It's called Insight Timer if you wanna check it out. And in January of 2020, I completed my first ever 10 day Vipassana silent meditation course in the mountains of beautiful British Columbia, Canada. You can hear all about it in a recent episode of my podcast, Badass Digital Nomads, which I'll link to in this video's description. After I meditate, it's time to wake up and work out. I used to go to bar or boot camp class, but since the quarantine, I've been doing at home workouts, obviously. Uh, let's work out. Specifically, pure bar in the Tracy Anderson method because I have a major girl crush on Tracy Anderson. And then it's time for a shower. Always cold though. We are in Florida after all. Speaking of which, it's Sunday morning and my neighbors are going out on the boat or the paddleboard. So I'm gonna join them. Then, since I'm quarantined on the water here in Miami for a few months, my neighbors and I will usually go out for a morning stand-up paddle while social distancing calm down. It's really nice though, and I really legit can't believe I lived without a paddleboard before. It's amazing. I feel really lucky to be able to do this, and sometimes I bring my coffee with me on the paddleboard, sometimes music, and sometimes we just chill, but we usually always see some wildlife, like a shark or a manatee, or some fish or an iguana or something like that. That's an iguana on the branch, like right at the very top. It's a jungle out there. Then it's time to come back home and make breakfast. 
I've been eating super clean lately and I just did two rounds of Whole30, which is no processed food, no sugar, no gluten, no dairy, none of that. So breakfast is usually eggs and some kind of veggies and a side of fruit and coffee, of course. And I always eat outside while listening to an inspiring podcast or one of my podcasts or a YouTube video. And sometimes I also read or journal before officially starting my day. You can see why I like the mornings the most. It's so fun. And now it's time to start working. So if I work out in the morning, I usually don't start working until 11 a.m., which is kind of late. But if I work out in the evening, I start working at 9 a.m. And my workday <laughs> pretty much consists of me standing at my desk all day. I don't, I don't really move from this um, computer. I just stand here all day. <laughs> it's not that interesting when I'm working at home at least. So what types of things do I do at work? Well, before the quarantine, I owned a relocation company. So I would help people plan their relocations and moves to foreign countries. That meant a lot of property searches, project management, research, and phone calls. Then my side hustle, which I guess is my main hustle now that no one can travel, is content creation. So before I would be out filming travel videos, but now I'm focusing on editing my library of stuff and writing and recording more podcasts. I write on Medium for extra income and practice and also ghostwrite for different clients. I also create videos for different people and businesses and for my YouTube channels. This one, Traveling with Kristen and youtube.com slash digital nomad. And I publish two weekly podcasts, plus articles for my blog and website. It's a lot of work. I also spend a lot of time working on digital products and courses like my new Make Money Mentorship, which you can check out in this video's description. And then I eat lunch, which I also eat outside. And after that, it's time for my second work block. This is usually about the same time when I'll run out of energy, motivation, and my good mood from the morning. I really despise the time of day between lunch and dinner, like from 3 to 5 p.m., but it's a necessary evil, so I do what I have to do. So during that time, I'll batch all of my shallow work into this time of day when my brain is less creative and less happy. So administrative stuff and email usually I spend a lot of time answering messages and emails every day and also engaging with my Facebook group, which you can join. It's called Badass Digital Nomads. A work from home tip that I share with everyone is to try to figure out when your peak hours of the day are for productivity. So that way, when your energy dips, you can use that time to do things like run errands or go to the grocery store or something like that. I'm gonna run some errands. Um, pretty much everything that I need in life is within walking distance or biking distance. So it's really convenient. You knew this was coming, guys. We're going to the grocery store. Get ready. It had to happen sometime. The good news is <laughs> there's no one outside. So I don't look that ridiculous, like holding my camera, riding my bike. Oh sh! Oh no. I just realized I forgot my mask. So here's my grocery store strategy. Today is April 20th and I've been pretty much at home since... I think March 11th was the last time that I saw my friends. I've been to all the grocery stores. I've been to Whole Foods, Target, Publix, Walmart, and Costco during this time. My favorite store to go to right now is Target of all stores because I'm trying to avoid the crowds. And Target's open later. They're open till 9 p.m. And there's just less people. 
So my least favorite store and the closest one to me is Publix. But um, it's the most crowded and the people in there are just, not the people who work there, but the people shopping in there, they seem very on edge and like stressed out and it's just a very <laughs> aggressive um, ambiance. So I try to avoid Publix, sorry Publix. I still like your subs though. So I'm headed to Target. So I bring with me my mask, gloves, and Clorox wipes. And um, it's been working out pretty well. Now, some of you may be wondering why am I riding my bike? <laughs> what is a grown woman doing riding her bike to Target? And there's a few reasons for that. Um, we'll take the scenic route. The first reason is because I'm living in Miami temporarily because I travel full time, so I don't have a car right now. But even when I did have a car, I never used it because I just rode my bike everywhere because I liked it. And um, since I've been um, traveling for so many years, one of the places that I've spent a lot of time is Amsterdam. And in Amsterdam, everybody rides bikes everywhere. And I think I've just adopted that as my lifestyle and I'm not giving it up. So it is what it is and I love it. And it's also environmentally friendly. Someone's blocking the... Also, it's really close. It's like less than a mile away for me to, um, to get to Target. <laughs> Attention everybody. Okay, I'm clearly losing my mind. Day 40 of the quarantine is getting to me. Let's go inside. I've been using kitchen gloves when I shop because I don't want to take away the PPE, is that what it is, from the medical professionals. So I haven't ordered any extra gloves because I already had some at home. With the camera, I'm making a YouTube video for who? For who? YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. I'd love to do. I'd love to do my dance for that. Go for it. Yeah. I, I can't do. I'm not going to do it in no. the store though. Why not? I'm vlogging in the store. <laughs> See, it's just better vibes in Target than other places. It's pretty well stocked too, except for the toilet paper off. I guess I'll just get some tissues just in case. Where have you guys been grocery shopping? Let me know in the comments. Well, my camera battery just died, but the hardest thing for me to find so far during the pandemic has been eggs, but I'm happy to report that they have them at Target. After picking up a few other necessities, I was ready to hit the road so I could go out for my daily walk before sunset. It's a miracle. And since the quarantine, I've also been getting in between five and 10,000 steps a day. I'll usually walk around the neighborhood, around my house at night, or go for a run for an hour or an hour and a half. And at the same time, I'll listen to podcasts, music, or FaceTime my friends and family. Quarantine life in Miami. No cars. Good day for a walk. Plus, the Miami sunsets are pretty magical. Then in the evening, it's time for my other favorite part of the day, dinner and relaxation. My routine lately has been to cook something Whole30 compliant, so protein and veggies, sometimes some potatoes, and then kick back and watch The Daily Show, A Closer Look with Seth Meyers, or Last Week Tonight with John Oliver, while I eat and laugh slash cry at the state of our world today. 
video is getting long. I hope you're not bored yet. It wasn't until I made this vlog that I realized how many things I do every day. It's taking me like a week to film a vlog about one day. Okay, another thing I do before or after I eat dinner or sometimes while I eat dinner, which if you follow me on Instagram, at Traveling with Kristen, you will know this, I feed the fish. We have the canal in the backyard and this lake in the front. There are a lot of fish in here that somebody put them in here. And out of the fish, there's tarpon, there's snapper, there's grouper. There's some other fish that are small and really fast you're gonna see right now. And they're big. <laughs> they love cod. They like turkey hot dogs. They don't really like the beef hot dogs. But today I have basil chicken sausages that went bad because I forgot about them. So I'm gonna see if they like basil chicken sausages, you know? Beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Hey guys. Okay, there's one. One thing I've learned about these fish is that they can see up. So if I throw the sausage in the air, they know where it's gonna land and they all rush over to get it. These are things you learn during quarantine. Hey guys. It's fun and they're cute. Oh my God, this turtle. How cute is this little turtle? He's like, I want some. Oh no, I think he's gonna get injured. Well done, that's all she wrote. The turtle was too slow, but it's survival of the fittest. Bye guys, see you later. At this point, after I clean up and wash the dishes, it's usually 8 or 9 p.m. and time to start winding down for bed. I used to squeeze in a third work block at this time, but I try not to do that anymore because otherwise I'll be up until 2 a.m. But I have taken on a new hobby during the quarantine of learning how to DJ and mix music, and that's super fun and something that I couldn't do while traveling. At least it was harder to find the time and also to travel with the DJ controller is not the best. So every night for about an hour, I'll stand at my turntables and mix until my laptop battery dies and that's when I know it's time to go to bed. I don't have cable and I try not to watch Netflix at night because otherwise I'll stay up too late binge watching Tiger King or something that's not good for my mental health. So instead I'll turn on what I've learned is PBS or create TV on the local TV channels with my antenna, I guess. And I'll watch a cooking show or Bob Ross paint until I fall asleep. It's quite soothing. I recommend it. Then it's literally Groundhog Day because we're quarantined and it's time to start over and do the same thing again tomorrow. But you'll notice that there's very little device time in my day and that's because I broke up with my cell phone a while back. We have an off and on relationship, but I deleted Instagram and Twitter from my phone so I can only look at it on a web browser while standing up, and that's a lot less appealing compared to collapsing onto the couch with my iPhone. So I have no idea when any of us will be able to travel again, but do you want to see a video of a day in the life as a digital nomad while traveling? If so, comment below because I have plenty of footage from my travels still to edit and this is probably a good time to do it. And if you wanna find work from home jobs or become a digital nomad after this whole shebang is over, you can download my free remote jobs cheat sheet and digital nomad starter guide in the links in this video's description. That's my day in the life as a quarantine digital nomad. Stay safe out there, like this video if you liked it, and subscribe to my channel if you wanna learn how to work online and travel the world. Peace. Bienvenidos a Miami.